and welcome to Art 111. My name is Anna Wagner, and I'm very excited to work with you this semester. I'm recording this short video to introduce myself and also to familiarize you with the outline of this course. Because our course is entirely online and asynchronous, we don't have scheduled meeting times. And if you'd like to get in touch with me, I ask that you please email me to set up a meeting time because I don't have set office hours. And I'm also in the Midwest, I'm in Chicago, so we've got a bit of a time difference there too. Um, that being said, I'm available for questions. I'm online often, and I don't check my email that much on the weekends. Otherwise, I'll get right back to you. I'm very excited about our class. So let me give you some info on getting started. First, let's talk about the textbook. The textbook um, is Gateways to Art. We're using the fourth edition. You can purchase it typically online for a lot cheaper than you might be able to find it at a bookstore. Some of you might have access to an older version of the textbook. Here are some of the older versions. Um, if you are using an outdated edition, know that the page numbers might be different than the page numbers in the fourth edition, but otherwise the content should be pretty similar. When um, you enter into our course, you will always enter in through announcements. So this is how the course will appear in Blackboard. I'm showing you the course here in this preview um, and it, a lot more is going to be visible than it will be on yours. So when you first log into Blackboard, you're going to open it up. If you scroll down, you'll see announcements. This is our welcome announcement. I will be updating announcements throughout the semester to remind you of what's coming up and what's due. So check that out. Uh, for you, when you first log into our course, what you're going to want to do is go immediately here to course entry quiz. And if you've taken other classes at Wake Tech, I'm sure you're familiar with this. You're going to need to do the course entry quiz before anything else becomes visible to you. So once you've submitted that, the tabs that you should check out um, ASAP are first the syllabus, which is down here, and the syllabus I've cut and pasted into here. You can also download it as a document right up here. And I ask that you spend some time with the syllabus because the syllabus, this is the document itself, has all kinds of helpful info. So how you can reach me, um, more information about the textbook, attendance, Note that if you are MIA from class for two weeks, you will be removed from class. It is Wake Tech policy. Um, uh, this one here is kind of important. This is a breakdown of our final course grade, which is just to say that not all of your assignments are worth the same amount. For example, your um, midterm and final exams are both worth 10% of your final grade. So if you were to get 100% on everything, but then you decided not to take the midterm or final, you could only get 80% in the course because the grades are weighted. So your midterm and final are worth more than, for example, one quiz, all of which are equally weighted. You'll be able to um, uh, view your grade at any time in the gradebook feature in Blackboard. Now, if you keep scrolling down, you'll get to the course outline, which is where all of the dates for what is due and when can be found. Our course is broken down into weeks, and each week's lesson has typically two things that are due, and those two things are usually due on Friday. Right now, the only exception to that is your final exam, which is due on a Tuesday, but everything else is going to be on on due on Friday before midnight. So in order to complete your assignments, you'll navigate to lessons. And once you have uh, done the course entry quiz, your first lesson will be available to you, which is this welcome one. These um, lessons will have a short summary of what is due and what can be found inside of each folder. And then when you click on them, you'll find first a checklist and then when you scroll down, you'll find the things that are due. So for this first week, you will be writing a discussion board post. And I have an example post here that you can um, read through. 
you'll be creating your own. And then you will also be submitting two forms, just an acknowledgement of having read some information. So I hope that should help you get started. Uh, if you have any questions at any point, you can go to faculty information here on the left and you can find this is me right here. I'm going to uh, ignore Sharon right here. Email me, Anna Wagner. I'm very excited to work with you and I look forward to hearing from you soon. All right. See ya.